Hello everyone. Uh, I've received some questions about the calculator and how it's supposed to be used for our financial management course so I thought I'd put this video together uh, or at least a series of videos together to show you how to basically become comfortable with this particular calculator. And what I'm going to first start off with is the present value calculation. So you can see in the background here I have uh, question three right up here and uh, we're just going to go ahead and work through that one right now. So first, uh, in order to get it into present value mode, one of the things I'm going to do is hit my finance button and then my time value money button. Now that I'm here, as I read the question, there are some certain things that I can go ahead and pull out of it. One of which is we have this $3 million payment. So now that I know that I, I have my first piece of information that I can use, and I'll show you how to divide this up in a later video on what information is pertinent and what's not. The first thing I'm going to do when I come here is I'm going to hit I'm going to hit shift clear input data. Let me back that up so you can actually see it. When I refer to the shift button it's this blue button down here. So shift clear input data very important before you start any calculations with this calculator. Any data that happens to be stored in there could distort your calculations and give you a wrong answer. So it's almost helpful to do that a couple times before any calculation just to make sure. Okay. Now we can get into some more of the meat and the potatoes. I'm going to go ahead and type in now um, $3 million. And that is going to be my payment located at that key there. So we're going to now hit payment key. So now that's stored in there. Now I know that the problem calls out for a period of five years. So I'm going to come down here and hit a five and store that into N for number of years. Um, the next piece of information that I need is my interest rate. And later on in the problem, approximately right there, it calls out 10%. So I'm going to go ahead and hit 10 and then my interest rate button located right next to the end. Okay, now I'm ready to find out what the present value is going to be. So I go ahead and just push the present value key. And you can see that present value of this is going to be about $11 million. As he's mentioned in class, that's going to be a negative number. That's just the way that the algebra happens to work out. You have to look at it in perspective of who's getting money and who's basically it's being taken from with regards to the payments and stuff. But all in all, for theory of operation, that is how you do a present value calculation. You stay with me on the, on the next videos, and I'll show you time, uh, the uh, cash flows menu, and then I'll also show you a little bit on how to program your calculator to make it easier to use during the tests. Keep in mind, that this little calculator, as cumbersome as it might be to use, is probably the easiest way to passing this class. Uh, in terms of having to learn the knowledge and everything else, when it comes down to the problems, after I'm done with you with, the, with these videos, I hope that you're comfortable enough that you'll be able to tackle whatever problems he throws at you from the problematic standpoint. So uh, stay with me and I'll post another video shortly.